The following is a selected video from masterthecontent.com where you will find an extensive video library of lectures for a variety of standardized admission tests. We offer over 600 hours of detailed video lectures for a multitude of standardized tests. Use our interactive in-lecture table of contents to find specific topics of interest. Work through numerous in-lecture examples to help you internalize concepts. To learn more, visit masterthecontent.com. Your career, our passion. As Janus warms up at the gym, he raises up to stand on his toes as depicted in figure 4.17. If Janus has a mass of 70 kilograms, what muscular force must be exerted through his Achilles tendon for him to stand on his toes? Again, because he's gonna be standing on his toes, this is going to be an equilibrium problem, right? And looking here, because it's gonna be an equilibrium problem, we know that net force and net torque is going to be zero. And looking here, we see that this downward force, force tibia, is right at the pivot point, right? See, it's right at the pivot point, so this is gonna have net torque of zero. Thus, to find that, that muscular force through the tendon, we can just isolate here for force tendon, from force normal, right? Using the net torque equation once again. So let's go ahead and write down our net torque equation. And when we do that, we end up with the we end up with the following, right? We have we're gonna have three torques, right? This we'll just go ahead and write this as little the subscripts uh, small cap T for tibia, right? The big one here for the tendon plus plus the one here with regards to the normal force. This here is going to be zero, right? Uh, this I should have also wrote as zero. Now, if we go ahead and we continue on with our, with our equation, we see here the distance at which that, the distance at which that force is being applied, right? That tendon force, right? That muscular force through the tendon, sine theta. Right, that we can take and we just minus it from our um, the distance of where that normal force is being applied, and sine sine oh, that one didn't come out right. Sine theta is going to be equal to zero. Now, what is it that we're looking for? We're looking for the following. Wonderful. Now, one other point that I would like to point out is the normal force, right, and the, the, uh, the force tendon here, these two angles are analogous, right? These two angles are analogous, and we talked about that previously, just because the force is, uh, this is gonna be, and we discussed that earlier, and then we can just go ahead and show that theta one is going to be equal to theta two. Now, because the two angles are equivalent to one another, we can just cancel out sine theta here. Wonderful. Now, in doing so, that actually simplifies our equation. And as it simplifies our equation, this is, and let's just isolate here for what we need. Wonderful. And that's gonna give us the following, right? That's gonna give us, and there we are, and over the distance from where that force is being applied. Wonderful, and now if we just go ahead and we fill in our values here, actually, you know what, we're, we, we could run into a little bit of an issue with room, so we'll actually go ahead, now that we have a working equation, we'll solve this one on the next slide. So let's go ahead and move forward now. Wonderful, great, okay. Now, we have the distance of the normal force from where that pivot point is. That's actually going to be 10 centimeters, which we can write as 1.0 times 10 to the power of negative one meters. And then the force that's actually being applied is just, what is it? It's Janus's weight, right? So you just take his mass times little g, and his mass is just going to be 70 kilograms and little g, as we know, is just going to be 9.8 newton kilograms, just for simplicity of our units here, wonderful. And we just take that over the distance of where that muscular force through the tendon is being exerted, and that is going to be uh, five centimeters, as we see from our, five centimeters, as we see here from our diagram, 
right? That's where this force is being exerted. And then if we go ahead and we just fill that in, 5.0 times 10 to the power of negative two meters as such, right? Perfect. Now, that is going to end up actually equaling 1,372 newtons. And that we can write as 1.4 times 10 to the power of 3 newtons. And there we are. That is going to be, that is what we're looking for. That there is the uh, muscular force that must be exerted through Janus' as as Achilles tendon. Wonderful. Now let's move on to our next slide.